Alright guys, in this video we're going to do a quick rundown on how I do my seat ears. Hopefully this will help you. I've already cut my kennel plugs and have the proper clearance for my housing to put under there. So we're just going to put a line approximately a quarter of an inch up from the bottom. And just kind of keep that at the same angle that you cut your plugs to. I usually kind of follow the top of my bar with that cut. Um, and that's about a quarter inch as you can see there up from the bottom. Then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put another line vertically across that, right, usually right past my nails. It usually figures in at about a half inch, three eighths to a half inch from the edge of the kennel. And once I have that cut, I'm going to go ahead and come to the back side of that seat and push it up against the kennel. And it's pulled in, the drawdown's on it, the drawdown strap's on it nice and tight. I'm going to pull that push that up to it and try to transfer that line to the back side of my seat. This is going to kind of tell us exactly where that ear needs to be and do your best to make sure that it's transferred exactly at the right spot where that X is. So once I have that you can see that X now is on the back of the seat. I'm just going to take a stitch and all and poke a hole right at that X. Just a nice little hole with your awl. And when you come to the front side of that seat, now you can see our hole. So that's where our ear needs to start. So now we're going to draw just a horizontal line. I come out usually a half inch from that hole before I start going up. You know, just kind of depending on what kind of roll you're doing. And once I get past that, it's enough to stitch, lay down over the kennel and stitch, and I go up and out with my line and then cut that. If you do that, it'll give you enough room to where your ear is up tight against the kennel plug like that, and you've got plenty of room to work as far as concho placement and cutting that. The other side, I do exactly the same way. I do not take the seat out and fold it together to transfer that. I go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side and if you cut your plugs correctly and the candle square it should be even so um, shouldn't have to worry about that then I just rub my seat in get a good train there on the on, in the dish try to get that seat shaped in there I usually push a little bit of a bubble inside my dish and then rub that bubble out in my seat now my seat's very wet very cased a lot of guys tend to sometimes it looks like with their finished saddle that they rubbed it too much that's usually because your seat was too dry when you put it in and if it is a little drier not cased properly and you over rub that dish area when you oil that saddle it'll look different tone and color wise in the dish and I think that's a big mistake so try not to over rub your seat and make sure that your seat is properly cased when you put it in so that you don't have this happen and then I'm going to pull that ear area and just kind of Pull it tight and pound out any kind of little stretch I make and get out of that. And then I'm going to thorn that down in place with a nail. Try to be mindful of where your concho is going to go so you can cover that hole. Put that in place. So thank you all very much.